Hello, welcome to my tech fan. My name is Igor and I have another film and dry review and it is the uh, iBoss uh, Series X, the Ease Dry. Uh, just a few words, uh, why do you need a filament dryer? Well, all filaments can absorb moisture from the air. Now, it depends of course of, of your location, but if you live in a high humidity area near the sea or something like that, then definitely uh, the filament will absorb that uh, moisture from the air and this will have a negative effect to uh, the printing quality. Now, some filaments are more sensitive to this, for example, PETG, TPU, especially nylon, and uh, with nylon it's very hard to print if it is not dried, and actually it is the hardest to uh, dry it. Almost every filament dryer can dry PLA or PETG, but only few uh, in my test can dry uh, nylon. One of those is the iBoss Cyclops, which I already did a review earlier, and I'm very curious, uh, its little brother, the is dry is uh, can it uh, dry nylon too uh, i repeat my classical test now which is standard on this channel drying this sponge and uh, with this uh, those results will be comparable with the other filament dryers now <coughs> with this uh, cyclops i have uh, two problems one the price is a little bit bigger but don't forget you can dry two spools at a time uh, this is the price of the ease dry is much lower of course it can uh, dry only one uh, spool uh, let me read some specifications from it uh, it has the power of uh, 45 watts these are uh, informations from the website the temperature is between 40 and 65 degrees celsius mm, i'm just curious 45 watts is it enough to uh, heat it up to 65 degrees celsius if it is, then it will be able to dry a nylon too. Dimension of the spool is uh, 220 by 72 millimeters, and it has a fan, a space for the desiccant, and similar. So, because uh, the drying of filament has uh, two stages. First, we need a higher temperature to force that moisture from in, inside to the surface, and then we need a drier environment, uh, and that, in that case, that uh, moisture can evaporate from the surface. Oh yes, the second problem I had with this uh, Cyclops is the noise. It is used uh, electromechanical relay and especially in the lower temperatures it clicks on and off maybe every 20 seconds. It may be annoying in some quiet room. And also the fan is a little bit uh, uh, loud. It also turns on and off uh, every, I know, half minutes. Uh, I hope this will be solved with this one, but I have no information at all now. Uh, I will see. And um, I have the same circumstances which I or, or usually have in this test. It is uh, 22 degrees Celsius in this room, 22.5 and 51% of the relative humidity. Okay, now let's see what's in the box. And this is the user manual. And there is a very useful table where you can see not only the temperature but also the recommended drying time for different materials. Let's remove the protection foil from it. Inside is the cable for the AC power and the bobden tube. Interesting solution. The door opening is from the side. I have to pull down this and uh, yeah, I can open it now. Uh -huh. The spool can be placed here and uh, probably this here blows the air and it circulates. There is a space for desiccant. Uh -huh. I have uh, two here and up here. There is a relative humidity meter. And uh, there is also a fan inlet, air inlet, yes. And with this I can adjust the temperature. So as you can see there are some preset values from PLA, TPU, ABS, PTG, PC and PA, that's the nylon. So this needs to be on a, dried on a higher temperatures. So as you can see the structure is very simple, just put some silica gears here in the holders 
spool inside. I uh, close the door then. Exit for the filaments, I can see three holes here, here on the top, and from the back side. And here was the power cable and there is a switch and I can see uh, this actually version was on 55 watts power. And there is no timer, only setting the temperature which actually is here preset for the different materials. Just quick check uh, the dimensions in the practice, the dimensions of the spool which can fit inside. Because now we have a limitation of the hole. I think it is uh, 50 millimeters according to the data. This means that uh, this filament cannot fit there. Oh, it broke. So it requires drying. And no, because this is 44 millimeter, the di diameter of the hole, and it cannot fit on the spool holder. The regular size of the spool can fit without any problems. This is Isan PLA. And uh, let's check this Amazon Basics. The hole of the diameter is uh, 52 millimeters, so it's okay. But the thickness is 75 millimeters. Hmm. And I cannot close the door. The using is a little bit less comfortable compared to the other filament dryers. Let's turn it on. I'm very curious uh, about its noise. The power cable is approximately one and a half meter long. And also I forgot to mention the bobbin tube is a half meter long. Okay, it's quieter uh, compared to the Cyclops, uh, but let's measure it. I place my microphone here and I hope uh, you can hear it. It is much quieter compared to the Cyclops. No difference if it is opened or not. But let's measure the noise. I will measure it with this uh, sound level meter and I will measure it from the half meter distance. This is half meter distance. I already measured earlier this bobbin tube. And I, uh, if I'm quiet, then you can see it is below the measuring range, which is uh, 30 decibels. And I will turn it on and I will measure the average the volume. Approximately 38 decibels. And just quick noise comparison between these two dryers. So here I place the microphone exactly in the middle and I will start with uh, ease dry Cyclops and then again ease dry. So definitely yes, this one is uh, quieter and also I didn't hear that uh, click sound like here with that uh, electromagnetic relay. And it's time to prepare the experiment. Just few words about the measuring setup. I have here Arduino Uno and uh, it's connected to uh, DHT22 humidity and temperature sensor and I try to place it somewhere in the middle of this uh, spool holder. And uh, I have here this uh, sponge and I will add exactly 2 milliliters of water but of course I will measure the weight because it's much more accurate and I will place it here on this ABS part and I will dry it uh, half hours and after this I will measure the weight and another half hours and again I will measure the weight and then I can uh, compare those results with the uh, previously measured. Also I think it's very important to mention that I adding a silica gear to the dedicated uh, desiccant holders and this means that the drying capabilities also depend how dry is uh, your silica gear which you, uh, which you place inside. But I think uh, the method how it works uh, with the circulating uh, the hot air <laughs> that uh, these desiccants are not even so important. Maybe it can even dry this desiccant or if it is really able to heat up to 65 degrees Celsius. Um, we will see. But adding a desiccant will just improve its uh, drying capabilities. 
And now preparing our sponge. 0 0.680 and now adding 2 milliliters of water. Two point seven oh five. Then starting with measuring, resetting the output, and I'm collecting the data, and I will analyze it later. In the first half hours of drying, I didn't notice any changes on the sponge, but now I will let out all the heat. 1.789 In last 15 minutes I noticed that the sponge deforms, this means it is almost completely dry. And one hour passed and one of, I forget one small thing to follow the humidity meter, but it shows 30% and uh, actually here on the Humidity meter it is 14, so that's accurate. I didn't follow the rest, but now let's measure the weight of the sponge. Zero point eight six zero. Mm, not completely dry. And now we turn it off and now we just collect the data maybe 10 more minutes to see the cooling time. I was following the temperature so it, it went up to 57 degrees Celsius so it couldn't reach actually the 65. Uh, not bad uh, but uh, approximately what I expected from uh, 55 watts. I collected the data 10 more minutes and it's time to save these numbers and process the results. This is the result of the uh, sponge test. So here you can see the sponge mass and here we added water. So this is the start mass of the water and this is the removed water in percentage after 30 minutes and this is after one hour. And these two numbers are added to this uh, website. So this data is comparable with each other. And these are the numbers recorded by Arduino. On the horizontal axis you can see the time in minutes. And with the blue you can see the relative humidity and with orange is the temperature. And here uh, I opened it for 30 minutes uh, measuring. That's why you can see here this uh, temperature drop. And this is end of the drying after one hour. And what you can see here is the cooling time. The maximal temperature inside was uh, 57 degrees Celsius and the environment temperature was 22.5 degrees Celsius and relative humidity 51%. And if you want to download the Excel table, you can do it from my website. Another conclusions. Well, finally, a decent filament dryer for affordable price. Uh, I was worried a little bit at the beginning that 55 watts power will not be enough to reach the 65 degrees Celsius. Well, actually it couldn't uh, reach, the maximum was 57 degrees Celsius, but I checked my previous results and actually this is the second uh, best filament dryer in, uh, according to the maximum temperature. The best is actually its uh, bigger brother, the Cyclops. But don't forget the environment temperature in this room is only 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, maybe in some warmer room it can reach even higher temperatures. But I'm keeping this temperature constant in my experiments, so the, my previous experiments are comparable. Uh, with each other if I keep this constantly 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, the noise is reduced uh, compared to the Cyclops, uh, that's good, and also I cannot hear that uh, click sound of the electromagnetic relay. Uh, about this uh, door, it's easy to open it and close it, uh, but uh, I don't really like that I cannot see the rolling of the filament. It would be useful to prevent some filament jams or something like that if I notice it on, on time. And it's not so comfortable to, when I place it to uh, start the filament through this hole. Not a big deal, you have to do it only once. But uh, yes, it would be good to have a better view to, for the filaments. It is good that we have a place for desiccant and, and quieter fan now compared to the Cyclops. And actually, um, 
it also acts like a, a real dryer because don't forget drying a filament has two steps first we need a higher temperature to force the moisture to the surface of the material and then dry environment and here you saw it was down to 30% so definitely in that case that uh, moisture from the surface will be evaporated. I think I covered most important things about this filament dryer, I can highly recommend it. Uh, usually the iBoss sent me some coupon code for my viewers, this time I didn't got anything but I will contact them. Uh, so check the description of the video, that's not affiliate link, just coupon uh, who wants to buy uh, this filament dryer. I hope I covered everything important, if I missed something then drop me a line in the comment. Thank you for watching and happy drying! Thank <laughs> you.